Hello, Asinator. This is the practitioner here, and I won't give you my list of qualifications because you've probably seen them on every other video I've done. Um, <laughs> I have finally been put in my place. Um, this is uh, very well put. Um, <laughs> sorry, I have to laugh because um, I have actually... Um, what's funny about this is the fact that I have literally spent the bulk of my YouTube videos, besides the debunks and everything, going around to um, various uh, like-minded skeptics and, uh, and atheists and other people like that, and the bulk of them I end up expecting are in the academic mindset, so I end up trying to speak to a level where I'm helping them try to correct their arguments on uh, trying to convince the academics over on the theist side, uh, sorry, over on the religious side, over to our side. But anyway, um, uh, and also, I've got a. Um, I saw something very good here from Aspergerus, a uh, fellow person on the autistic, um, a fellow person with Aspergers, um, said that he um, uh, that uh, Aspergers were, kids were first dubbed little professors because they knew big words early on in life. Well, um, unfortunately, um, I have the same problem. Um, I have a tendency to use big words, and I have a tendency to ramble on, um, partly because of my disorder and. Um, you know, I actually was once exactly where you were talking about the, um, uh, you know, try, you know, having to follow 20 pages behind and stuff like that. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm only a mid-level academic uh, type myself. The, um, and that's just not in, that's not just in words. That's in the whole mathematics, the actual scientific principles. You know, like I mean, the thing is that it's not just wording in my case. Uh, like, you're right about needing to phrase it with the common touch. And I've had this same comment uh, directed to me before but on a global warming video where I um, not only used technical words but I also used um, mathematical formula uh, well basically I used I basically used a whole bunch of equations that were um, you know high level in-depth equations and the reason I was using them was because of the fact that the people who were de trying to debunk global warming at the time were um, were trying to uh, twist the math and were trying to say that the um, that the believers in global war that the people who believe that we are causing it or influencing it, um, that we didn't know the math or that we were uh, misinterpreting the data or, you know, basically they were trying to, they were basically trying to take the advanced knowledge and twist it to dupe everyone else. So as an academic, I had to go up there and stand up against that. And um, I guess that's sort of the position I've, I've inadvertently taken, um, trying to, um, I basically tried to become the academic troubleshooter, if you will. Um, and in my process, when I did my videos for you, I assumed that, like other skeptics I had been dealing with, that you were an academic as well. Um, my fault. My bad. <laughs> and um, you're right. I probably should be working a little bit more appealing to the heart. Oh, and um, another thing. Uh, you said that I had been lit rambling off my list of qualifications. Um, you're probably right. Um, I have... I think you're... Uh, you were right that the that people are um, that that maybe my academic system has been dictating. Well, you're right that maybe I do need more of a common touch, and I can understand your your uh, your idea of the autodidact um, being able to uh, train people in a common touch in an, in a way that is um, is a way that uh, uh, is in a way that people can understand better, or can you know speak in a way that people can understand understand better. Um, on that point, um, you're probably right. The thing is that um, I specifically made the intro the way I did uh, in order to handle. Um, I've, I've had quite a few people, uh, particularly when I um, when I made comments on paranormal or religious phenomena. Um, you know, like when I uh, when I talked on a lot of the similar issues that you have, um, people have asked me, "Well, what reason have you got in order to be able to say this? Like, what's your qualification?" Like, a lot of people in my comments have asked me this question, so I give them uh, the path that I've taken in the format of I'm this, I'm that, this is what I've been trained in, this is my background, and it, um, it, effectively it's my way of trying to say, at least to other people who might be on that academic mindset, you know where I've taken so far, you can follow that route to get to me, or you can go even further advanced along that same path. Um, I guess my whole be point being trying to, you know, trying to bring people into the academic realm, which, yeah, you're right, is separatist. And for everyone else, um, you know, speaking to the people on the common touch, I may have inadvertently appealed to authority um, when I used that as my introduction. I mean, I tried to use as much evidence as possible and try to cite my references, sorry, and, and try to direct people to the um, places where I was reading and the places where I got info um, to avoid... You know, to avoid that, uh, to avoid that. But um, yeah, I think I may have inadvertently appealed to authority. So um, translated, um, I may have inadvertently. Um, 
translated. You're right, uh, the common touch is more needed. Um, I'll try to, rather than, what I'll try to do is rather than just simply using the scientific technicals all the time, I'll make two copy, uh, what I'll do is I'll, is I'll ramble off a little bit on some of that science stuff, and then what I'll try to do is I'll try to use a, a comparison. What's a simpler word for comparison? Comparison sounds good. Okay, I'm just trying to find one that's... Uh, uh, okay. Maybe use, like, to compare. Okay, okay, well, close enough. Either way, um, either way, what I'll try to do is I'll try to, um, I'll try to match it. There, that's it, okay. Um, what I'll do is I'll, is I'll use the scientific rambling stuff for a little bit, and then I'll try to match it to something that's a little bit more common in everyday life, um, just so this way people have an idea of what we're, t of what we're dealing with here. Because you are right, um, a lot of, uh, we need to uh, talk to the inner voice of reason. Um, now, maybe this is just my own Asperger's kicking in again, but I've often made the assumption, again, purely, again, purely because my brain is wired for academic. Oh, sorry, yeah, my voice is starting to ramble again. Um... I've always made the assumption that um, that people's hearts are not necessarily um, devoted to reason, or that um, how shall we say that the uh, that <sighs> Frank, now I'm trying to figure out the, the simplest way of putting this without drawing on the Aspergers. Um, <laughs> maybe you're right. Academic people are not necessarily the most intelligent. Actually, you know what's funny? Uh, James Randi said that in one of his uh, in one of his videos, and um, I actually laughed at that because the thing is, I thought that um, I thought he was right, but the thing is that I thought that uh, keeping that common touch, I thought that I was learning applications of it. Um, as an Aspie, I have to learn applications of it. It's the only way for me to fully understand what's going on. Problem is that I'm still using the big words. It's again, it's the brain wiring. Anyway, I've got something wrong up here. Let's just put it that way. Um, and you're right, not to dumb it down, but, um... Uh, damn it, now I lost my train of thought. <laughs> damn it! Um, I know I was trying to put something simpler. Well, anyway, um, just basically overall what I was going to say is that, um, yeah, you're right. I'll, um, I'll try working, I'll try um, reapplying it to, um, to more common stuff. Um, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll try applying it in a, I'll try applying it uh, out of a academic context into something that's a little bit, um more every day, and um, yeah, and I'll, uh, I'll leave my qualifications out of it, and if people um, if people want my qualifications or want the more complicated explanations, I'll just send them to previous videos to get the remainder of the stuff, or to message me, um, or if they ask me for more academics, then I'll make an academic video directly. Um, but in the meantime, you're right. Um, I have been a little um, off the, I have been a little um, off the wall, so to speak, in this area. Um, my I think my point, um, and it's interesting to know that you were uh, actually finding very good information about the indigo children. Um, I've kind of looked into that a little bit, but um, I kind of looked into that and read quite, uh, read a bit about it. Um, initially, I thought it was good, you know, kind of drifted off it, and you know, I, like I said, I think I may take a little bit more investigation into that. So, thanks for the tip off about Terrence McKenna, because uh, considering I am uh, considering my brain is academically wired, uh, I think you've just given me a very good source to read. So, thanks, and um, yeah, um, you're right. Uh, Oh, what was it? Um, and Rudyard Kipling also had a very good quote too. Um, what was it? If you can walk amongst, uh, if you can walk with kings, not, um, um, if you can walk with kings but not lose the common touch, uh, um, then the world is yours and you'll be a man, my son. Again, it, it was off a poem that I, it was off a Rudyard Kipling poem that my dad always had up in the bathroom and I read it every time I went to take a shit. <laughs> but anyway, um, I can't remember the rest of it. Probably went out. Probably the the part of my brain that was thinking that went out with the rest of it. <laughs> anyway, I digress. But um, yeah. So um, you're right. Um, oh, that was the other thing. Um, I have been there before. Um, I've been uh, or maybe I've already said this that I've been uh, I've been there before having to uh, follow 20 pages behind. But what's funny about it is the fact that what I did was uh, and you're actually right. What it took was it was actually it actually took somebody. Um, the thing is that it actually took somebody uh, just, at, um, you know, explaining the extra details of a couple of areas which were not very well covered. Um, again, it was still an academic context, but you're right, I've been there before. And ironically, I've actually appreciated the academic context in my case uh, purely because of having gone through that. But again, that's just me, um, you know, and Asper just uh, had it right about trying to learn to uh, uh, speak, uh, trying to learn not to talk over people's heads, so I'll try to learn to do that myself. Um, anyway, thanks for the bid. Um, I think I've been put in my place, and I will try to do better in the future. Toodles!